In this episode, Mel misses the mark, Jay finds a jellyfish, and Benny takes a staycation. Alright, so I've got to get the kitten, Benny, in uh, his carrier, taking him to the pet sitter for the week, and uh, he doesn't always really like it. He's in his little cave. I know my kitten. Come on out. No, out. Well, I know. There you go. Disturbing your slum. Here we are. You're getting ready to go on your vacation. Okay. Alright, so now we've got to get him in the carrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his least favorite. No, no. In you go. Thank you. I know, you're wondering what's going on. You're going on staycation. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Down. So we are ready. I've got my stuff on, and we've got the kitten in his carrier, and um, we're gonna take him to the cat sitter because he's gonna have a nice, lovely little staycation while we go to our trip. All right. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, back in my days when I worked in a vet clinic, I was once told about a dog that went through a windshield in a car accident. And so ever since I heard that story, I um, now make sure that I use seatbelt with Benny. So um, he's in his carrier, we latch this through here, and then that way if I have to hit the brakes hard or anything, um, he's at least secured. to Homa Rome. I'm Mel. And I'm Jay. And we are in the car on the way to the Seattle airport to catch a flight to Myrtle Beach to spend the whole next week with my family. All right, so we just got through the border in three minutes. Thanks um, to our Nexus. Love our Nexus passes. The lineup actually was about 40, was it 40 minutes I think for non-Nexus? That was the Holders, estimate, yeah. So yeah, so that got us through in like three to four minutes. It was pretty amazing. So whatever you do, please do not get Nexus because then you'll be in front of us and then we won't get to go as fast. <laughs> It'll make the lines too long. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, if you are considering a Nexus pass, if you do find that you travel between Canada and the US, um, you know, at least a couple, a few times a year. It's probably worth it. Um, yeah. We paid about, what, $50, I think, and it's good for five years. For five years. Um, so it's, it's pretty awesome, and it's pretty amazing. It gives you global entry, so yeah. So like we said, Nexus is terrible. Don't get it. You don't want it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> made it to the Seattle airport. Um, Took us like a half hour to park. <laughs> it's Not a pretty quite. big parking lot, I have Massive to say. Parking. It's huge. Yeah. Um, anyways, but we did find parking. Um, it's somewhere around like $150 for the week, so that's like a pretty good deal, I think. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Um, we are catching an overnight flight, so we will just have to see you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> good night. Sleepy. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have had some breakfast and picked up some groceries, and we're staying at a beachfront condo, as you can see behind us. Yep. 
And here's the beach on the other side of us. And it's a really long beach. Beautiful white sand beach. So nice. yeah, let's go explore. So we found a jellyfish, one of many, and somebody even thankfully said jellyfish <laughs> as a warning to people. So I'm not sure if this is actually one of the ones that'll sting you or not, but I'm not gonna touch it to find out. But yeah, it's kind of gross, but the uh, tide is coming back in. It might wash them back out again. I think this is one of the biggest jellyfish that I've seen on a beach. You can see, there's my foot, and there's the jellyfish. That is a big one. Hello, this is my dad. Hi, Mel. <laughs> and we're having a father-daughter outing and we're going golfing. Um, we're just on our way to the driving range right now and then we're gonna to kind of warm up. Gotta warm up, loosen up those muscles or you could cramp up and then you're into big problems. Big problems. And away we go. And away we go. <laughs> at the golf course. We've arrived. That's our oh, target. It's a moving one. That's our target. <laughs> you can hit him. And there's our get balls. Get a prize. There we go. <laughs> the grip is like this. Okay. Keep your thumbs straight down the shaft. Lock your baby finger and your index finger. All right. Heel of your left foot. Uh-huh. Stand back. Get comfy. Bend your knee slightly. Keep this arm straight. And when you follow through, make it 250. 250. Nice job. And that's how it's done. Goes Mark Adams lining up at the green at the tee. He's feeling good today. He's lining up. Here goes the swing. All right. He's lining up for his birdie putt. His first shot got on the green. Oh, I can feel the emotion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Melissa Hanley on the 11th hole of the PGA Ladies Tournament. She's getting set. This hole is about 100 yards, par three. Bit of a treacherous shot. There's the greens protected with the sand trap on the front and right. But Melissa's gonna sail it over the sand trap and plunk it on the green. And it's a good shot. It's going all the way down, and it's right beside the green. We just have a little bit of a snack first to get some energy. Yeah, sustenance. So we can power that ball all the way to the pin. Yeah. All it's right. It's pretty far. How far again? Cheers. Cheers. 303 yards. Okay. And we're off. And we're off. All right, here we are at the last hole. The 18th hole. Arms straight. Don't bob. And don't bob. All right, here we 
go. Give her! I'm definitely in the water. <laughs> there you go. That's the way you do it. Hey, that was good. That's the way you do it. All right. Like a motherless child, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child has a long wish from home. Sometimes I feel like my time ain't long. Sometimes I feel like my time and long Sometimes I feel like my time and long As a long wish from home Gonna lay down my burden Down by the riverside Gonna study you were no more, I ain't gonna study one 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 no more. All right, Mel's got her hot dog. I'm walking through the French Quarter of Charleston. How's your hot dog? It's tasty. <laughs> it's spicy. It's good. Yeah. It's called jalapeno coleslaw. All right, here we are at the Pineapple Fountain in Charleston, South Carolina. At the Waterfront Park. Really nice park. It's a really nice day. It's beautiful out. Yeah. yeah. Everything went really well, and uh, he was a good kitten. Yes, he had a good time. In fact, he didn't want to leave. The little stinker like hid under the bed for like the whole time I was there. He wouldn't come out. It was like he didn't even recognize me. Right? You little stinker. Yes, you're home. You ready? Right, you're home. You're home. Alright, you ready for this? Like, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? He's like, oh, I remember this place now. There you go, my love. Oh, I know. Welcome home. Alright, what do you think? What do you think of this? We're, we're trying the dried okra. 
<laughs> it's quite tasty. It's quite disgusting. And healthy too, I think. They look the size of a golf tee. <laughs> They're um, high in fiber. Low in taste.